Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on making shadows. On a beautiful sunny day watching fish swim in a shallow pond, you will see something very interesting. Look carefully below these fish. Can you see the shadows on the bottom? This is interesting for two reasons. One is the fish are in water, so the water must not be blocking the sunlight. That means water is transparent because it lets light through. And the fish must be opaque because they do not allow light through and cast a shadow on the bottom of the pond. We can experiment with opaque and transparent by using eyeglasses. Of course, you can see right through the glass. And the frame doesn't let light through, so the frame is opaque. So what will happen with the eyeglasses in sunlight? Well, you can see here that the opaque frame casts a shadow, but the transparent glass does not. It lets the light right through. But how about something that is translucent? A good example is wax paper. Wax paper allows some, but not all, light through. When we put wax paper in the sunlight, we can see that it blocks some of the light, casting a partial shadow, but it doesn't block all of the light. To experiment with shadow making, what you need is something opaque, like this spoon, doesn't let light through. You also need something translucent, like this wax paper, which lets some light through. You also need something clear, and glass will work perfectly for that. Glass is transparent, it lets all light through. Now, you also need a light source, like this lamp. Uh, you also need a piece of paper. Now, this experiment works better if you turn out all the lights out except for the lamp. So let's do that right now. So what I've done is I've put my spoon into a clamp to hold it steady because I don't have a friend to hold it for me. And what I'm going to do is put it right in between the lamp and the screen. You can see as we move it, the size of the shadow of the spoon changes. So we'll put it right in the middle first and then we'll make a tracing, a quick tracing. Just like that. And we'll label that one A. Now we'll move our spoon closer to the screen. And we'll do the same thing. We'll do another tracing of the outside of the spoon. And we'll call that B. Now, we'll move our spoon closer to the light source. And I will make another tracing right there. So we'll just trace the outside of the shadow. And that will be C. And we can clearly see from the results that changing the distance of the object from the light source changes the size of the shadow. When you move the object closer to the light source, the shadow gets larger. And when you move the object farther away from the light source, the shadow becomes smaller. So by simply moving an object, you can change the size of its shadow.